A person with normal vision sees objects at all distances in good focus. Near objects, far objects, and objects in between all appear clear and sharp. A person's eye automatically adjusts to try to maintain focus. Many people have defects of the eye that interfere with the eye's ability to adjust. In most cases of nearsightedness, distant objects appear blurry, although near objects may remain sharp. In most cases of farsightedness, close objects can appear blurred, but distant objects are sharp. All objects that can be seen are either emitting or reflecting rays of light. The cornea and lens of the eye can focus these rays on light-sensitive cells in the retina. Light rays from distant objects are nearly parallel when they reach the eye. In a normal eye, the cornea and lens bend the rays toward each other just the right amount to make them come together in a clear image. The lens is relaxed and relatively thin. Light rays from near objects are still spreading outward as they reach the eye. To bring these rays close enough together to focus properly on the retina, the lens must contract to become rounder and thicker. The contracted lens bends the spreading light rays more than the relaxed lens bends the parallel rays from distant objects. A nearsighted eye usually has an eyeball that is too long from front to back. This extra length makes light rays from distant objects meet before they reach the retina. By the time the light rays reach the retina, they have begun to spread again and are no longer in focus. A farsighted eye usually is too short from front to back. Because the eye is too short, light rays tend to strike the retina before they have come all the way together. The lens has to compensate for the shortness of the eye by becoming thicker and more contracted so it can bend light rays farther than is necessary in a normal eye. The lens of the farsighted eye can usually achieve the extra thickness necessary to bend the parallel rays from distant objects. But bending the spreading rays from nearby objects sometimes requires more contraction than is possible. In almost all people, the lens of the eye becomes stiffer and less able to contract and thicken as they age, which leads to farsightedness. For this reason, most middle-aged and elderly people need glasses for reading, even if they didn't need glasses when they were younger.